Hello there! Welcome to the Air Gun Gear Show. Remington is one of the biggest names in the gun world today. And one of the guns that they sell is a Colt 45 inspired CO2 powered air pistol. Now I'm a bit of a Colt 45 nut. I like the size, the shape, the feel, everything about it. I'm a big guy, I like a big handgun. So therefore, if it's Colt 45, I've got to take a look. And here it is, it's the Remington 1911 CO2 powered 1.77 or 4.5 mil BB air pistol. In the box you get the pistol, an allen key, a magazine and a very detailed set of instructions which are also completely downloadable off the internet. The 1911 is field strippable and I'm going to try and show you it on camera and it's quite tricky so bear with me. First of all, safety. There's nothing in the gun, okay? Nothing at all. There's the magazine there. Now on the top rail there's two locking positions. The big one at the front is for the gun when it's in use. The smaller one at the back is for field stripping. And what you do is you pull it all the way back, like that, and then you're gonna let the rail go forward and lock the sliding pin into the smaller sliding section on the top, okay? Then, while holding that in place, you turn the gun round and there's a little pin that sticks out there. You want to start to push that through. And then what you do is you pull out the slide lever with the pin attached. And then gently you slide the top rail off. And that means that you can get inside and completely clean the pistol should you need to, which is a nice touch. Gassing up the magazine is a very simple affair. You pop the canister in, and then using the supplied Allen key, tighten it up on the bottom until you get that little hiss of happiness. Here we go. There we are. And the magazine is charged. Once your magazine is gassed, you're going to want to put some BBs in there. Use quality ones, there's no point buying those cheap ones because they won't do you any good. And talking of putting BBs in, I use my patented BB loader. And my BB loader works really simply. Give it a shake. There you go. And you've got a tube full of BBs ready to go into your pistol. Now I am doing this on camera again, so just bear with me. Look, there goes a couple. I'm trying to do it leaning around the camera. There we go. We get there in the end and we're loaded. After that, it's very simple. Magazine goes into gun. Take it off safe, pull the top slide rail back, and we're ready to shoot. The thump in your hand every time you pull the trigger is incredible. After your last shot, the top rail stays back, very authentic. Then it's a simple procedure. Press the magazine release button, load up and do it all again. Being very true to the Colt 45, this is a very sturdy and meaningful safety switch here. But there's a secondary system. If that is switched to live and you're not actually gripping the pistol and putting pressure on this plate here, the pistol still won't fire. The pistol grips on the Remington 1911 are made of a brown composite material. But let me tell you, that's the only plastic I can find. The rest of it is all metal, all two pounds of it.
At 10 meters, the 1911 RAC groups like any other BB CO2 pistol. All but two shots hit the 14 centimeter by 14 centimeter paper target. And the finished grouping means that this is a real tin can plinker. This target is 30 yards out and it's 43 centimetres across. But that doesn't stop 1911. Oh no, it can hit that with ease over and over again. Wow, look at that. I've actually got two bullseyes and I've got a good couple of dozen hits on the rest of the target. And in total, I fired two magazines worth at 30 yards. I'm very happy with that. The 1911 at 30 yards has certainly got the legs, but has it got the power close up? Those of you that watch my videos will know how much I like skips. I think they're a whole bundle of excitement. There are things in there that used to be valuable that people no longer want, and hence you can shoot at them like this. Windows. See, lots of them, windows. No longer wanted windows, mind you. Not windows that are still fixed into houses. That's not a good idea. So we've got some windows and also we've got other things, look, lampshades. Now Mrs. Airgun Gear didn't like these when we bought our new house. She had them taken down. I think they'll make excellent targets. Let's go see. I'm going to say this because if I don't, the YouTube police will come along and tell me off. These are my old windows out of a skip which I'm never using again and you should never shoot at anything glass normally so therefore don't try this at home. The aggressive blowback feature is CO2 hungry and I'm getting three magazines of 18 shots per CO2 capsule and depending on where I am in the charge of the capsule I can be shooting a feet per second spread from 300 to 240 and that's enough power to punch sturdy glass windows with every shot. Oh, again, again. The wife, have you got any more windows? Are you ever gonna finish this house? Oh dear. The lampshades, well they're tough and glass, more than a match for the 1911, so I finished them off with my Remington Express air rifle. So there you have it, the Remington 1911 RAC is a looker, a weighty looker, with hand punching power, it's got legs at 30 yards and it will go a lot further. Yes, you may have seen similar before in the Swiss Arms guys. Regardless of that, this pistol is a credit to any collector or first time shooter, and I've thoroughly enjoyed shooting it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. Mm -hmm.